The 25th public session of the 11 Pontifical Academies of the Vatican was held at the Cancelleria Palace in Rome. This year, the academies highlighted archaeology's contribution to the Christian faith, awarding three scholars for their work. The archaeological excavations are indeed very important for us and the harmony between faith and science. What we know by faith and what we see and we discover thanks to our scientific work in archaeological research. The Undersecretary of the Pontifical Council for Culture, Monsignor Melchor Sanchez, explains that this year the Pontifical Roman Academy awarded three archaeologists medals, two Italians with silver medals and a gold medal to the Hungarian archaeologist Dr. Gioso Voros for his work in uncovering the place of martyrdom of John the Baptist, the ancient city of Machiris. Hungarian Cardinal Peter Erdo says that the work of Dr. Voros in Machiris is tangible evidence for the story we read in the Gospel. In the Gospels, according to Mark and Matthew, concerning the beheading of Saint John the Baptist and its circumstances with the banquet of Herod Antipas and how Salome danced, all these unbelievable details. However, this is the only gospel narrative which has a parallel narrative from the same era, from a non-Christian work. It is absolutely unique. This uh, parallel narrative is from Flavius Josephus. He wrote down that John the Baptist was imprisoned by Herod Antipas and uh, killed in Machaerus. He wrote in detail about Machaerus. Uh, it was a Herodian royal city on the east bank of the Dead Sea. For the last 12 years, Dr. Voros has been investigating the ancient biblical site of Machiris, and he says that due to different historical circumstances, the city survived as a time capsule from the Herod Antipas era. That the over 100,000 um, architectural elements that we documented during the last uh, more than a decade uh, of this uh, beautiful royal palace is like a Lego. You can put these uh, jigsaw puzzle pieces together and you can reconstruct uh, uh, the original spaces. This is the only and unique occasion that we have a gospel scene where in the background we can reconstruct the original Herodian built legacy. Dr. Voro says that archaeological research for the site of Machiris began when Pope Benedict XVI, who in 2009 while visiting Jordan, asked authorities to open the site for pilgrims. A large part had already been uncovered. However, the work is set to be completed by 2029 for the 2000th anniversary of the beheading of St. John the Baptist. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I have to say, in the name of my great uh, colleagues, uh, we felt ourselves from the beginning instruments uh, of the merciful God uh, that it will be our privilege uh, to execute this mission. Dr. Voros concludes that the sites of the Holy Land offer an important historical context to our faith because, as Pope Paul VI put it, the Holy Land is the fifth gospel, which is not written in ink, but written on stones.